Hey camp friends, I'm Mitzi. And I'm Jason. And we're back tonight for another night of cabin time from Novus Way from Luther Ridge, Luther Rock, Luther Springs, and Luther Ranch camps. And we will begin by lighting our candle. We want you to light your candle and get yourself centered for cabin time tonight. Think about the day and all the stuff that's happened today. And uh, we're gonna start with a song that we did a couple nights ago called, um, La, uh, the, no, This, little, this light little Light of Mine. That's what we're gonna do first. This we Little Light of Mine. We'll do, we'll do that one last. We're gonna do Take Me Jesus As I Am last. But we're gonna do This Little Light of Mine with the peppy part that we did the other day. So it's This Little Light of Mine and then Shine It All Around Cabin Time and then This Little Light of Mine. Okay. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let's check in about your activity from yesterday, which was water games. I hope you had a lot of fun with those and um, take some pictures of you all drippy wet and post those in the Hopefully comments. Hopefully it's warm where you are. It's still kind of cold here. <laughs> it, is, it is warm. Hopefully where you are. The sun came out today, so hopefully it came out for you um, where we are in South Carolina. So tonight we're going to hear a song about Saul to Paul. And uh, this is a story about how God changes somebody completely. And, um, and it's a pretty powerful story. So I hope you'll turn your listening ears on and, um, and follow along with us. We're going to read from the Spark Bible. Uh, which is a beautifully illustrated and really well-written Bible um, from, uh, from Augsburg. Okay? Paul, Saul to Paul. Saul was a bully, and he hated anyone who was a Christian. Saul wanted all Christians thrown in jail. But God had other plans for Saul. Even though Saul was a mean person, God loved him and had a big surprise for him. Saul had been ordered to go to Damascus. He smiled shyly to himself. Mm -hmm. If any Christians live in Damascus, he would find them. He would arrest them and bring them back to Jerusalem. Saul smiled confidently. He had arrested Christians a hundred times before, and he could do it again. Such a bully. Suddenly, Swirls of dust blew up from the road. Saul covered his eyes with his arms. Storms coming up, he shouted to his men. Crash, flash, kabash! Saul fell to the ground. 
A blinding light exploded around him and a strong voice spoke to him. Saul, Saul, why do you hurt me? Saul rubbed his eyes, rub your eyes. He couldn't see anymore. Who are you? He stuttered. I am Jesus, the voice said. I am not dead. I am very much alive and I have plans for you. Go into the town and wait. Saul and his men were speechless. They could hear the voice, but they couldn't see anyone. Saul waved his hand in front of his face. My eyes, I can't see. Someone get me up, Saul ordered. Because he could not see, Saul's men led him by the hand to Damascus. There, Saul waited and prayed. He wasn't mean or bad to anyone. God had touched Saul's heart. A man named Ananias was in Damascus. Ananias loved Jesus. God told Ananias to go to Saul and pray so that Saul might see again. But Lord, Ananias said, Saul is a mean man. I am afraid of him. God said to Ananias, I have chosen Saul to bring my story to many people. I have a plan for him. Ananias found Saul just as God had said. Ananias prayed for Saul and Saul was filled with God's Holy Spirit. Suddenly, Saul could see again. Ananias told Saul that God had a job for him. Saul was to tell people about Jesus. Saul was baptized and his name was changed to Paul. Paul served God for the rest of his life. He became a friend of Jesus and told many people how Jesus changed his heart. Wow, that's a really powerful story. What a life change for Paul. But you know, I have, I have my heart kind of goes out for Ananias. You know, Paul was mean and scary. I mean, he was arresting people and throwing in, them in jail just because they believed in Jesus. Yeah. That is a bully if I ever heard of one. And this story reminded me of something that I started a long time ago, and I want to share it with you. Um, it's it's a, what I call a prayer journal. It's kind of like your courage journal. But I had somebody who was being really mean to me. And so I wrote their name in my prayer journal. And every single night, I prayed for them. And, you know, I can't tell you that it changed that person. I can't tell you that it made that person nicer to me. But it did help me see that that person was a child of God. And that the reason that person was mean, I found out later, was because there was something going on in that person's life that wasn't great. And so by praying for them, I was able to ask God to be with me and help me change, but also to be with them and help them change. And, you know, sometimes things are dramatic and sometimes they're slow, gradual changes. And if you have people in your life that are that are bothering you, first, we really want you to tell an adult yeah. so that the adult knows what's going on. But also know that you can pray for that person. And just like in this story, 
God can use you and God, like he used Ananias, and God can use that other person to do God's work in the world too. That's a pretty, that's a pretty powerful thing to think about. And it may not be something we always want to think about, but it's important to think about. So now let's hear from our program director what our activity is for tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Gretchen here at Luther Ranch. Um, usually when I've been sharing program activities with you, we've been going outside for them because they've been fun outside activities and we've been exploring the ranch. But for today's activity, I'm here in my living room because it's a little bit more of an indoor activity. What I want you to do is go and get your courage journals out. And if you don't have a courage journal, that's okay. If you're just joining us for cabin time for one of the first times, now is a great time to make a courage journal. You just need some paper that you can put together and decorate to make a journal. And we've been using that journal to write down some of our thoughts and our prayers and things that we talk about during cabin time. So if you already have one, go ahead and get your courage journal out. If you don't, you can go ahead and decorate and make one or if you're like me, you can use something you already have. I found a really cool notebook that had mountains on it that's been in my house for a while, and I am using that because the ridges remind me, we don't have mountains at Luther Ranch, but we have some really pretty ridges, and that reminds me of Luther Ranch. So I use that for my Courage Journal. But what I want you to do in your Courage Journal is today I want you to open to a page and you're gonna write down the name of someone that you need to pray for. It's a little bit hard today because I want you to write down someone that maybe you don't like or you're angry at or someone who's hurt you or upset you. And you're going to write their name in that journal. Uh, if you want to decorate around it or write words around it, you can do that. I wrote their name and then I wrote things around it and I wrote my prayer around it because I like to decorate things when I write and pray. So I did that, but you can just write their name down. Either way, I want you to write their name down and every day this week, I want you to pray for that person. All right, thanks guys and I'll see you again soon. Thank you for that activity. I hope that you will find that, um, it's called a spiritual discipline. Um, to have a prayer that you do on a regular basis is called a spiritual discipline. And there are all sorts of spiritual disciplines. And that writing in my journal is one of my favorites. And I hope that you will find value in that too. So now let's pause um, for our highs and our lows and our God moments. And you know, sometimes lows, we don't always want to share. Like maybe we're afraid to share them, but if there is something going on or somebody in your life who hasn't been nice to you or who hurt you during your low is a really good time to share that with your cabin group to make sure that you can get that off your chest and tell somebody that. So share your highs and your lows and your God moment for today with your cabin group, and then we'll come back and close with our songs. Welcome back from your highs and your lows and your God moments. We hope that that is a special and important time for you and your cabin group. And we're going to close tonight as promised with Take Me Jesus As I Am. We sang this a couple days ago. It's a really wonderful song. Um, you know, Jesus took Saul just the way he was and helped transform him into something better and wonderful and used him for God's work in the world. And so um, take me Jesus as I am is our prayer tonight.
favorite song. Okay, let's pray together. So do what you do with your hands, friends. Repeat after me. Hey God. Hey God. It's us here at Cabin Time. It's us here at Cabin Time. Please be with us. Please be with us. When we have to deal with a bully. When we have to deal with a bully. Help us to remember. Help us to remember. It's important to tell adults. It's important to tell adults. And it's also important. And it's also important. To remember that they're your child too. To remember that they're your child too. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. For an ability to change. For an ability to change. And we hope that you will always. And we hope that you will always. Keep us pointed towards you. Keep us pointed towards you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good night, friends. Good night.